Welcome back everybody! We are continuing with the commentary playthrough of Valkyria Chronicles. We're on to chapter 8 at this point, The Woodland Snare. Part 1, Surprise Attack. Here we go. Having been driven back, the Empire retreated from Barius and Squad 7 began its return to the capital of Randgris. Nice. I'm worried, boss. The scouts were due back a long time ago. I haven't heard a thing. Welkin, we should look. The enemy could be closer than we think. Right. Ominous. <gasps> If you get hurt! Largo, we've got to move our butts now. Two more minutes and we'll be dead. Damn. No choice. We're outnumbered. Everybody take cover. Come on, Isara. Now! Right. You guys are worried about being outnumbered? You took on, like, like a witch with a Gatlin cannon last time. This is ridiculous. Where? Uh, uh, Welkin? Oh, good. You're awake. Where are we? Is everyone all right? It looks like we got separated when that blast threw us down here. Oh. Alicia, there are probably still Imperials camped out up there. It's just a matter of time until they spot us here. We should move as soon as we can. Are you hurt anywhere? Do you think you can walk? I think I'm fine. Ah, scratch that. I think my ankle sprained, actually. <laughs> you know, being that close to some sort of artillery shell, they're just, I mean, they're, they're fortunate they weren't, like, blown into pieces, you know? Are, are you okay, Alicia? Like, well, actually, my left arm is gone, so... But I should be okay. It's not too bad to walk on. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Sorry, I know it hurts, but you've got to tough it out for now. Of course. Great. Now, let's try to sneak out of this mess before we're spotted. Uh, yikes. Um, the escape from Forest Snare. Now, I did the uh, upgrading, um, you know, training up of soldiers and whatnot last time. Uh, at the end of the last episode, so I'm not even going to waste time hopping into the headquarters right now. I've been trying to do that towards the end of the episodes, just for those who are interested. Um, so, here we go. Alicia, here's a map of the area. Looks like they've got us surrounded. You'll only be two units out there, and your positions are predetermined. Okay. You must reach the destination to the north to escape the perimeter they've set up out there. Due to darkness, you'll be dealing with far more limited visibility than you're accustomed to. Hmm. You'll see no sight line for enemies more than a set distance away and be unable to see them in action mode. You also don't have access to the wireless communication equipment in your tank, meaning no orders. Be careful. Hmm. Okay, victory. Both of them have to reach the destination and we fail if, uh, if either of the main characters die or 20 All right. turns. Ready to start moving? Let's sneak out of their perimeter without being spotted. All right. Wow, it's really gotten dark. 
The lack of light means it's harder to see enemies in the distance, so watch out. Ow! Is your ankle gonna make it? Sorry. I don't know how much I can run like this. That's all right. You set the pace and I'll follow. Oh, reduced, reduced travel distance. Enemy long range mortar or something. I didn't push anything. Does that sound a mortar? Oh, there we go. Have they spotted us? No, their aim is too far off. They're probably trying to scare us out with it. If we're careful, we can predict where they'll fire and steer clear of the target area. Oh gosh, okay. Um, you know, I think we still have Welkin proceed ahead. Must be a knocked out bridge or something right there. And basically have Welkin... Well, I mean, Alicia still has good hit points. I just don't know how far she can move. We'll take Welkin first. Let's Let's get... Here we go. Let's get a feel for the land here. I do want to point out, you can hear the crickets in the background. There's like very little music or anything right now. It's very quiet. Hang on, let's see what the map. Oh, okay, so we've got some, some varying ways that we can go through all this. Down in the map in the bottom uh, left-hand corner, and you can see the artillery area in red. Okay, so we'll take Welkin. We'll try and go down as far south as we can, or as far, you know, down on the map. And then kind of loop around here, hopefully. Oh, landmine. Uh, some... Hostile sighted! Hey, Welkin, what's that light? Oh, that's a luciferant. It's bioluminescent, the same sort of thing as a firefly. Hey, wait. The luciferant feeds mostly on manure. There could be an animal trail here. Yeah. With luck, it might let us sneak past without the enemy spotting us. Why don't we just shoot them, though? I mean, I'm just saying. My biggest concern is the mines. What is this? Found an herb that helps heal injuries. Bring Alicia here to apply it. Oh! Alright, that might help her, you know, walk further or something. Let's see. I wonder if there is, like, a sound issue here. Like, if he... If he gets up and pops this guy. Oh, we're already getting shot at. Good news. Okay. Nice. Yes. Okay, it doesn't sound like it, you know, triggered an additional warning or anything. Let's see here. Sorry, I'm getting a message. Got to make sure everything's okay with everybody. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And boop. Just You just lay down next to the mine. There's no way I'm going to end up regretting that. We'll end that for Welkin, and we'll get Alicia over here to try and check out... You know, hang on. How far can she oh, move? Yeah. They're busted. Oh, gosh. Not good, Alicia. It is not good. These things give off a sound. It's kind of... Kind of eerie. Alright, let's see if Alicia can make it to... That... That other stuff. Here we go. Come on. He oh no, Welkin has to be here too? Alright, well, she's not going to make it much further, so I'll leave her right there. That kind of stinks. We're going to have to bring Welkin back this next, this next turn. Kind of back to her. 
Okay, we got one bad guy. Two bad guys at least. That might have been the same bad guy again. Minimum two bad guys here. Ooh, they take out trees. That's kind of cool. All right, Welkin. Here we go. Let's get back there and let's not hit the mine. Good. These leaves. Great. This is Ponisera. What's up, Welkin? It's a wild herb that works well on bruises. Just have to grind the stem and leaves down. Alicia, let me put this on your ankle. <laughs> it it kind of stings. But I think it hurts a little less now. Thank you, Welkin. Okay, let's push on ahead. We might find more Ponisera growing nearby. Hmm. Okay. So we might we might be able to get her even more um movement ability. Now what's the story with that light? Just it's just looking at the other side. Is that is that a, is that a mushroom? My goodness. That better that better not be any sort of beneficial sort of help for us. Searchlights. This is bad news. What do you figure will happen if they see us? They'll radio our location to the mortars and we'll see them land a whole lot closer. Hmm. Not high on my list of good things. We'd better keep our heads down out here. Okay. I don't think Welkin's gonna have enough. Oh boy, even to get into that grass, that grass might be in mortar, in mortar fire range. Just looking at the map there. Alright, I might leave Welkin right here. Work on getting Alicia caught up. Okay, looks like he could have gotten into the grass. Either way. My turn, okay? Closer than I would like. Oh yeah, she's got quite a bit more, um... Uh, Quite a bit more AP at this point. The sound of that manure is unsettling. That's right, the sound of the manure. Let's get her as close as we can here. What are we walking over anyway? Alright, just a nice little... A little, a uh, little gorge or something there. Um, do I want to try and get her into that grass? I mean, or past it. My turn, okay. What does the light do? All right. Well, it looks like. She may be able to just get past it and stay on this path. Here we go. Hobble, Alicia, go! Oh, come on now. Come on now. Ridiculous. Ooh, that might hit Welkin. <laughs> Uh-oh. I feel like... We had definitely gotten clear there. That, that... That was some shenanigans. Okay. Now we just have to hope that Welkin survives now. I really do not want another failed mission like we had last time. Okay. Just got somebody patrolling up there, it seems. Come on, Welkin. Uh, 
Did he survive? Okay, all right. Well, that's not good. Let's see. Okay, good. Half half health. I mean, it's not great. Moving out. But it's not a catastrophe yet. I think I see. Enemy unit spotted. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, hey, bro, bro. What about enough of you and your shenanigans? She didn't kill him with a grenade. Are we serious? Are we serious? Oh man, and, and, and that's gonna drop her defense. All right, oh, boy. Hurry, Alicia. Okay. I'm really just looking for the flower at this point. Where is that? Ooh, there's some. Wait for the light to go past us again here at some point. There it is. There it is. And now we move. Run, Alicia. I mean, as well as you can. All right, we'll leave her right here, and then we'll go get Welkin. Maybe Welkin can finish off this Ready to go. bad guy, too. That's a lot of landmines back here. She's got, a, like, a knife kill, like a secret knife kill here. Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah. Good. Ugh. Gotta love nature. He does love nature. Come on, we are so close. We're gonna have to waste another. We're gonna have to waste another turn here. Ready to go. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Alicia, here's some more Ponisera. Let's get this on that ankle. All right. Oh, thanks. It hurts even less now. That's good, but still, don't push yourself. <laughs> this is a war, and he's all like, take it easy. Enemy sighted. Ooh. Tie the immortal. That guy's got a ton of hit points. Oh, and he's a, an assaulter. We might need enemy sighted. Well, there are two of them over there. Interesting. I don't know. Do we try and go around? Maybe hit him with a grenade. I mean, unless there's grass up there. Welkin, Welkin gonna die with his, with his hit points. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do some Ragnade and just heal and then be ready with some Overwatch fire here. All right. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Ah, man, I probably should have moved Welkin just off to the right to go around those people. But with that light right there, I just don't know. Take him down, Welkin. Oh, no, defense down again. Gosh, once you start getting status, uh, status effects on your rifles and, you know, like those guys have, that's a big deal. Let him have it. Welkin, 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 one shot, buddy. You're doing push-ups. You're doing push-ups. That was ridiculous. Now. Oh my gosh. Oh no. <laughs> Sorry. Oh gosh, I think we failed. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, when I do this, I will, um, 
I'll, I'll edit that out so we're back to that approximate same place next time. Ridiculous. Okay. We've got Alicia healed up for the second level. We've got uh, Welkin here ready to go. And, you know, I Enemy think... Side. You know, the one, the one guy we always see running around over here, I think it's that scout. And I think basically what he's doing is like running this, uh, this kind of grassy area. He's, he's just, he's patrolling it. We're going to make a break for it here. Gotta love nature. Okay, what happened? You know how sick I am of these guys. There we go. Yes. Okay, so we still got the other one. Oh, why did I? I didn't even need to go all this way. There was some. There was some shortcut back there that I missed. Just a mistake. Oh, more of that stuff here, though. Oof, gosh. Alright, we'll have Welkin wait right there, and we will see if... Well, we'll see if we can get Alicia a little bit closer. generally inclined to try and kill their aces just for the points, but at this point, I just want to get done with this mission. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't even know. Just go ahead and cast it on herself, basically. Use it. And then perhaps just consider... Getting the mortar called on us here, just kind of crawling through it. I mean, I would guess that it's going to see us. Ooh, it doesn't see you in there. I didn't know that. By golly. All right, and here's the, the other shortcut sort of thing. By golly. Oh, well, that stinks to get the to get the benefit of that last one. Ah, shoot! It's gonna take a couple more turns, basically. If if we even want to take advantage of that, I mean, at this point, Alicia might be able to make it just with a couple turns. Just artillery, be darned! Let's just get people moving. You know, I'll move her over My here. Turn, okay. And then I'll have Welkin. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Ooh, we made it. We'll have Welkin go ahead and, and give it to Ready her. To go. Even though she might not need it. I mean, we've had no indication that they have any other bad guys other than that ace. Ooh, there's some more Ponisera again. Oh, the pain's mostly gone now. Thanks again. I'm just glad it's working. So, Welkin, um, is that stuff edible? Why? Are you hungry? Huh? No. I'm just... I wondered if I could use it in a new bread recipe. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I see. Well, the flowers have a sweet nectar to them, so it could be good. <laughs> uh, you tease me. We're sneaking around the woods, and you're thinking of baking bread. I don't want to hear it, nature boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Well, let's move on. Yes, let's. Okay, do we have any, any bad guys, any bad peeps? I mean, that's right through the artillery. Ooh, boy. All right, so that's where we're going. Okay, this is probably... But, you know... 
Getting her over there without My turn, okay. ending up in that mortar range is going to be tricky. In that mortar field of fire, really. Should go, 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 lay down. All right. Why she might be able to make it? It's just so close. Not gonna risk it. Wait, nope. I'm gonna back her up a little bit more. Not gonna risk it <laughs> after have already haven't had to redo this. I can't remember if I'd commented, but I, I remember having, you know, died on this mission before too, <laughs> you know. I don't pretend to be a 100%, you know, infallible gamer. And my commentary playthroughs are rarely, you know, a, a specific guide or anything. <laughs> Alright, artillery, huh? Well, might as well trigger all of it. Man, five turns turn, okay. I'm, sh I'm sure we could have probably done this in like... Three years. Ooh, can you get over there and lay down? Bam! Nailed it. Run, Alicia! You're not gonna dodge it this time. Ooh, she made it somehow. <laughs> Alright. Man. I just want missions where I'm wrecking fools, you know? Phew. We should be safe here, at least for a little while. Let's look for a spot where we can rest. Right. It's too dark to cover much ground, even if we tried. B rank, ugh. Yeah, that was a lot of experience and whatnot for doing a whole lot of nothing. Who'd build a cottage way out here? Not that I'm complaining or anything. How's your ankle holding up? Sorry to make you walk so far on it. No, it's not too bad. Don't worry. That's good. Still, let's get an herbal compress on it just in case. It just figures you'd know about herbs, Welkin. <laughs> well, this here is called Aloe Severa. It's a succulent in the lily family. There's a jelly substance inside its leaves that helps combat swelling. <laughs> I should start calling you Dr. Nature. Oh my gosh. Very well, Doc. I entrust my ankle's care to you. All right, that should do it. How's it feel? A little weird? <laughs> no, it's nice and cool. Thanks, Doc. I'm just glad we found something to help you. The pain should ease with time, too. So, Welkin, what got you interested in nature to start with? Well, I don't know. I guess it had a lot to do with my dad's influence. General Gunther's? Yeah. Whenever he came home, we'd take a trip collecting bugs in the mountains or swimming. Somewhere along the way, going on those trips turned into a love of nature for me, too. The general out collecting bugs? That's... Unexpected. Maybe so. I guess other people see him as a big, stoic military hero. He had his own share of worries, though. Yeah? My mom died as a casualty of the First European War. I don't think Dad ever got over the fact that he couldn't protect her. But everybody else was always praising him for being a great hero. The war won him respect and adulation, but it also cost him the love of his life. Hmm. I think that always weighed on him, that question of what he fought the war for. I had no idea. But when he was out in the woods playing with me, he was always so bright and happy. Maybe I fell in love with nature because it always put the smile back on my dad's face. Oh, Welkin. Character development there. Interesting. Uh, Woodland Snare Life.
Alicia, someone's coming. Freeze! Uh, Welkin, what? He's badly wounded. I'm surprised he can even walk. Help me! Welkin, do something! Well? It's no use. The wound's way too deep. It hurts. It's so dark. Oh, God, Mother! Mother! It's okay. Don't be afraid. Mother's right here. Everything's fine. See? Yes. It's... Yeah, oof. Those left behind. You find the boss and Alicia? No, still nothing. Isara. How about you quit messing around and help us look? The Edelweiss still requires maintenance. Your own brother's gone missing here, and you'd rather be doing maintenance work than look? It's because he's missing that I'm doing this. We have no idea when he'll be back, but... Making sure the Edelweiss is ready for him is the best thing I can do for him now. <laughs> Not like I care either way. I hear what you're saying, kid. Just be sure you rest up while you can. You've been working since first thing this morning. Largo's coming around. Your Squad 7's only tank pilot. If you pass out on us, we're all toe up. You hear me? Getting a good night's rest is another thing you can do for your brother right now. I understand. Thank you for your advice, Largo. Well, sure. <laughs> I love the anime cheeks <laughs> that they put on these people. <laughs> okay, one in death. Welkin, I... I couldn't do anything for that poor man. He was lying there asking me for help, but all I could do was watch him die. That's not true. You helped him in a way only you could, Alicia. The look on his face when he passed on wasn't one of pain. No, I guess you're right. Thank you, Welkin. I'd always just thought of the Imperials as monsters out to kill Gallians. But they're just as human as we are, huh? With families of their own to fight for. Yeah, they are. It's like the war started and we all forgot that. It's so simple, but... If we weren't at war, he might be back at home with his family now. Hey, Welkin. Did I ever tell you I don't have one? A family, I mean. I grew up in an orphanage. I don't even know my parents' names. No, you didn't. But maybe I'm actually lucky, huh? If you... If you never have a family in the first place, you can't ever lose them. Ooh, that's some... That's some <laughs> wrong way to think about stuff, Alicia. I guess being all alone has its perks. <laughs> Don't even joke about it. You know you're not alone. 
You've got me and Ys, everybody in Squad 7. We're all a family now, Alicia. Squad 7? A family? Darn right. Sure. I'm the dad, you're the mom, Rosie and Isara are like daughters. And Largo is the grandpa. <laughs> Come on, can't you see it? <laughs> if he heard that, you know Largo would kick your butt. Sure, we have our share of fights, but they say that best friends fight the most, right? Do they? Do they say that? Yeah. So don't go saying you're all on your own, you hear me? All right, Welkin. And thanks. The helmet and rifle? They belong to Fritz, sir. Are you two the ones who laid him to rest? Yes. There are signs of medical treatment inside the cabin, sir. Why then? Explain to me the reasons you had to save his life. He was delirious. He was crying out for his mother. We may be enemies in this war, but we all have families waiting for us at home. As a human being, I couldn't just sit by and watch a man in pain without trying to do something. We always called him a mama's boy, sir. And now... Sorry, Fritz. I wish we could have been there for you. And you, son, do you have a family? Yes. I have a younger sister. And I have another sort of family as well. I have the soldiers of my squad. I see. I have a wife and daughter back at home. I feel the same as you. My men are like a second family to me. Thank you. Thank you for honoring Fritz as you did. I'm sure his mother will appreciate it. I suppose we'll meet again on the battlefield. I'm sorry for that. You both seem like good people. For now, so long. Well, I guess we should hurry back and join the squad. You're right. Once again, once again face to face with the enemy, you could have just popped him. You, you could have just popped him there. No, I, I, you know, I wanted to, to mention that briefly, you know, that's something that Valkyria Chronicles does really well. Um, just kind of dressing, uh, addressing like the, the horrors of war on the, the, the human side of things. Um, and Valkyria Chronicles 4 did it, um, really pretty well. And, and, you know, even this, you know, it's a, it's a, a, a brief moment in time here, but, you know, um, just kind of addressing the, the fact that the enemy, they're not, they're not inhuman monsters, I mean, for the most part. Um, and then, you know, just kind of dealing with that. And even the, the respect amongst, amongst soldiers, um, that's, that's real, um, a lot of the time. So, reunion in the forest. I'm going to drop save, because I haven't. Um, uh, there we go. And boom. And here we go. The gunshots from before came from around here. The rest of the squad may still be in combat close by. The enemy's base camp is located on the river's south bank, and the force deployed around it is significant. They've also put up quite a defense, including a barrier that only a tank can take down. You and the rest of your squad are separated by the river, north from south. Until you reach their position, they won't be able to use the Edelweiss. Oh. You need to get to them as soon as humanly possible, then immediately launch your attack. Your objective is to occupy the enemy's base camp. The enemy knows your tank is out of commission. Expect them to come crashing down on your squad in the meantime. 
Until you can get to them, they need to take cover behind the sandbags and keep our camp safe. As a reminder, you won't be able to issue orders until you get back to the Edelweiss's wireless communication system. Interesting. Uh, okay, victory, we capture their base. Failure, if the Edelweiss is destroyed, if Welkin dies, or Alicia dies, or they capture our base. Okay. So we've got Alicia and Welkin up north. Um, we need to get our points uh, out here. We'll go Rosie up front. She can take cover behind those sandbags and be on overwatch. We'll get Largo out here as well. Uh, I think those are the only... Yeah, those are the only ones that give us additional points. So what we'll do... Um, we'll go ahead and do... Claudia as well, so she can maybe be repairing the sandbags or maybe the tank if we need it. We'll put um, We'll put Catherine out here just to drop some bad news on some people and maybe we'll go with another Shock trooper here we go uh, Hans or Haynes. He likes Largo, so that'll be good. That they're kind of in the same area. And, uh, and, uh, you know, we'll put, uh, we'll put Juno out here as well, just so we have someone that can really cover some distance out here, too. Yeah. Yeah, we'll give it a shot. All right. First, we've got to meet back up with the squad. Ready to go, Alicia? Alicia, how's that ankle doing? Just fine. I'm a-okay here. All right. I saw some black smoke in the distance. That could be the other sevens. But black smoke would mean they could be engaging the enemy. Right. There could be enemies near us, too. Let's get back to the others ASAP. Oh. Enemy mortar. They actually have like a mortar. Yeah, a mortar cannon. Interesting. So we got a river right here. It looks like we've got a scout, a couple snipers. Light tank, light tank. Some dudes. We'll have we'll have Alicia lead the charge this time. We gotta make sure Welkin survives to get they can even see the tank. They can even see it. Oh, man. That's a sniper. Okay, snipers don't have overwatch. It's an awfully cold morning. Enemy unit spotted. Defense down. Uh oh. That defense down modifier can be a big darn deal. Down. Everybody be Is that a shock trooper and the mortar cannon? Hang on, how, is she, how, how are they supposed to get across? I've got a visual here, commencing attack. Oh, they've got to get down. Down, probably cross those boards and then climb back up. So where do we get down? I don't want to go anywhere near that guy looking at me mean with that machine. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, okay, all right. We got a lot of people interested in delivering some bad news. Um. Oh, shock troopers too, jeez. Definitely gonna have to move Hans out of there. Here we go. Pretty sure I saw a mine over here, so we're gonna have to be careful of that. And we're gonna have to be careful of all the mortars. Distance, I just wing a grenade over there? I mean, we definitely want to take that thing out. Take this. Hopefully this will take care of this guy. Ah, oh, no. Not quite enough to fully take him out. Can't get back there, huh? Can you break there we 
we go. Now, hopefully, he and Alicia will have out. group fire or whatever it's called, support fire. There we go. Man down. Everybody be careful. Ooh, there's a landmine right there. So where are they supposed to get down? The other side, no. Is there a little path? Oh, there's a little path. Oh, interesting. Alright, well, Welkin can definitely, probably most likely Can you break through the front line? We definitely want to take this thing out. Avoid hasty action at all costs. 550 hit points. Welkin just used his grenade. Alicia still has a grenade. But How many hit points worth of damage is it going to do to this thing? Let's find out, by golly. This is not a great throw. Not a great throw. At least if she's prone in the grass, then... Hmm, he doesn't have a grenade. I should, I should have... Dang it, I can't believe I wasted a grenade up there. That is stupid. That was just stupid, is what that was. <laughs> Dang it. And he is not going to be able to make it all the way. So how far do we even want him to try and make it then? I mean, if, he, if he's not going to be able to make it all the way... Oh no. Gosh dang it. So, so stupid. Okay, we can't even see that one. We could kill that one. We could maybe almost kill that one. Hang on, let's try. Let's go for the one that's over here with the command points. Oh, four headshots from here? Nope, 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 nope. That is asking. That is asking to die. Yes. With his hit points the way they are. We're gonna go right back here. Oh no, sniper. We're gonna go right here. Oh gosh, I did I did this all wrong. <laughs> no no big surprise there. Alright, let's try and get Hans out of here. Attack down. Said Rosie would help him shoot, so that's that's at least good. Yeah, almost, almost nothing at all. And we got the attack down. Debuffs on us anyway. Should be out of the like blast radius there. Plan to have Welkin go try and just cap this other guy. I'm not. I want to get Welkin out of there, of course, but it may just be more important for us right now to take out that mortar. Oh no! You three hit points left, and he can't kill him. Oh no! All right, we need Welkin to heal. Yep, that's what we need. Those debuffs on those guns. Those things are effective. All right, we just we gotta <laughs> we we gotta. Man, that went so poorly. Alicia is at least in in grass. She should have some coverage. Let's give it a try. Take him down. Somebody pop this guy. Oh, 
East, East, can we get a report? How you doing in there, East? The good news is, with those guys being out of cover, sniper, you know, we should be able to get some, some hits on them. Is this a sniper? Oh yeah, it is. Shoot. Ooh, really thought he might shoot his own guy there. There we go. Shooting time. <laughs> Too bad your attack power is debuffed so badly, you get nothing. Uh oh. Oh my gosh. And it blew our one guy into, into, uh, Hans is dead. It blew him into the mortar range. <laughs> Dang it. Take him down, Hans. Oh, gosh. All right, buckle up. Farewell. Yep. At least it blew him backwards, so maybe we can evacuate him. Oh, unless he's still alive. He had 11 hit points. Dude had 11 hit points. I mean, maybe, maybe I was wrong about who had the real few hit points, but I sure as heck thought it was him. All right, Welkin. Here we, go. we gotta get back here. We gotta use this grenade right here to do some grenade type things, okay? Yes. All right, hopefully Alicia can take it out with the next grenade. And hopefully you cannot step on a landmine as we try and make this trip. It would be great if you could not do that. All right. There are a, <laughs> a large number of landmines down there. Um, My turn, okay? No, oh, it's on treads. Interesting. So it's like a it's like a tank basically. I don't know, I just didn't get a good I didn't get a good sense for what that thing was. Alright. That must have been the one that fired on us last night. Well they won't be firing it again anytime soon. Now let's move out. Kinda want Alicia to kill that shock trooper. And ooh, that guy. Protect the tank, soldiers. Because they've got the command points. Alicia, Alicia might just stand right there for now. Ill-advised? Yeah. I don't do a lot that's actually advised. Surprise, everybody. Okay. Boom. We're back, everybody. Sorry to worry. I mean, Alicia's still abandoned on the other side, but you know. Welks, oh good. Are you hurt at all? No, we're fine. What's your status here? We were unable to break through the enemy line without you to lead the Edelweiss. Now that you're back, we'll launch a tank offensive on your command. All right, good. Squad Seven, commence the attack. Okay, good. I'm of course excited about that. Um, now let's see what Alicia can do with some stuff and some things to do some stuff with some people. Oh gosh, all right. Nice. 
That was exactly what I was looking for from her. I'm not even worried about that other guy. He can do whatever he wants. Then we'll try and take out Street or whatever his name was. The Lynx. On Alicia's next turn. Well, maybe not even Alicia's. I mean, if somebody can get a shot on that person, then we will do it. All right. We just go ahead and advance with the Edelweiss here. Move forward and start taking out some stuff. I'm I'm trying, Catherine, and my just my disappointment is constant with their machine gun people. Their tank, I guess it was. I'm not done yet. Great. Now crouch down. Ooh, all right. <laughs> By golly. Um. Rosie's gonna get clapped being right in front of that tank. Oh, good. Edelweiss got fully repaired. I guess maybe it's sitting in the, the spawn point here. I don't really know. Here I want to get the Edelweiss closer so it can get intercepting fire on all these troops they have running everywhere. But I also want to have its back end covered from all these anti-tank people. Attack down. Great. What you guys have to understand is that I just, I don't have any energy. I don't have any energy for this. Okay. Back end is reasonably covered-ish, particularly if we can get somebody up here. I still, however, want to take out, or at least get them covered. Hang on. Let's do right, Juno. So we can get some interception fire. Because some of those bad guys are going to try and move away from the tank. They're going to realize how precarious it is. We actually might position Juno over here to just... Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, this is good. I don't, yeah, none of them are going to be able to get around there. And now what we'll do is we'll bring up, I don't know, maybe it will be Rosie. Yeah, we'll, we'll bring Rosie right up here. Ain't no stopping me. And she'll get some assistance from the Edelweiss to just kind of be able to shoot into this group. Seriously? Oh, there we go. You got one, one hit on that other guy. Good. I really don't want Rosie to get taken out, so... There we go. Now we see if it worked. There we go. That is what we wanted the tank up there for. Oh, wow. That guy... That guy, Hans, he was dodging bullets this whole time. They're not even bothering to shoot at the Edelweiss. That's great. Perfect. Ooh, man. Sniper on sniper. Hmm. Okay, interesting move by them there. Interesting couple moves, frankly. Um, okay, they got an assault troop. They got Lancer. Let's 
We'll have Juno. I think that sniper is outside of the of the capture area. All right, here I go. But they do still have a tank sitting there, so that's not great. Yeah, he is. Dang it. I wanted her to get a shot. Attack down, defense down, everything's down. Come on, grenade. All right. No, that was terrible. That was terrible. You know what I might have you do, Juno, is just come over here and take cover for a second. Hopefully recover some function. Then maybe have her run down that little, that little alley thing right there. Um, okay. Well, oh shoot. I should have, ah, oh, gosh dang it. I should have had her go and touch those two people so they got evacuated. That was foolish. Dang it. All right, well, we need to go capture that point. I'm supremely not worried about their tank. Here we go. Even their anti-tank people aren't super concerning to me. There we go. They both gone, or did one of the, did the sniper live? Nope, got them both. Okay, good. All right, good. Now we can block this person from doing that person type things. Perfect. Rosie's still there and ready to do some things with some stuff. We're gonna have Claudia, who as an engineer should have some pretty good range. Couple quick evacuations here. Just a little longer, almost there. Please help them, please. Medic. Fight this thing. I'm almost there. Okay. Please help them. I think her name's Claudia. Claudia, you see that tank in front of you? You see that tank and those two bad guys? I want you to run at that tank behind those two bad guys and go cap this point. Get in there. You got this. Boom. <laughs> hey, you did great. Don't even feel bad about it. Um, okay, we definitely need to probably start calling. I would, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I can't get him in immediately right there. So like this, now if this person tries to run past the tank, the tank is gonna kill him. They are not gonna cap. That thing's not gonna be able to cap. I think we're good to call in some other people here. Let's do, if I'm gonna send a sniper, I want, I want a sniper to be able to get up into this tower. So that would probably make more sense to spawn them over here. But I'm not worried about that right now. So let's just call in, let's just call in uh, Wavy, uh, basically the winner. Let's do this if you got a mission, you got to win. You call in Wavy. You know, I mean, it's just how it is. <laughs> All right, Rosie, good, and we can take out the other Lancer. I mean. It is conceivable that this Lancer could run back there and cap, but I think the tank would take him out first. But just to be sure. You know, Rosie can sit right there and wait to see what this scout on the other side of the Edelweiss does. Yep. Reinforcement request canceled since I captured that point while that request was pending. Dang! Oh man, that was a heck of a shot <laughs> from that sniper. Get him, made a wise. Oh, all right. Damage minimal. Not my treads.
Hmm. Okay, well, I kind of forgot we had Alicia over here, to be completely Watch honest. Her, okay? Let's see if Alicia can take out that sniper while I'm still sitting here. Oh boy. You only got 99 hit points. No! <laughs> she got three three headshots right there. Including one while the dude was like airborne from from the the fatal blow. That was impressive. Nope, ran out of Alright, well, that sniper right there could be a problem for us. Uh, yeah, Juno healed up quite a bit, though. Um, and we should be able to maybe call in... I mean, I don't even know. What what, what do we even need at this point? Mm. Here we go. Scout, sir. No, thank you. All units, check your position. Excuse me, you there. Can I, can I interest you? Oh, we can't even get one shot, huh? And if I have to, I will, but I'd rather just try and get the one shot, if possible, please. Oh, wow. Alright, well, we just, like, knocked down their barrier. Is there any, any reason we can't just cruise in here? <laughs> Some anti-tank mines, a little bit concerning for us. Oh, come on. I saw, there it is. Fire. Oh! <laughs> that should not have worked. I don't, I do not feel good about that one in particular. All right, wavy, let's see what we can do. Look out, that, that bad guy is gonna be shooting at you. Medic has been busy this time. This Claudia evacuated. Rosie, you'd be ready to cap that guy, please. Is it just this one shock troop? Whoa! Just that one shock trooper who will tear through you when your defense is already down. Hey, Wavy, am I right? Yeah, I'm right. Okay. Man, those, those status effects. I, I need to I need to try and use more of them in this playthrough because I just I just never have um, and I definitely need to trying to pursue the Ain't no stopping me. the gun researches where they they have the uh, status effects definitely need to do that this time <laughs> I like her just Casual smooch, you know, just a casual smooch. Rosie don't care. No one accused Rosie of Karen and Rosie don't care. So it's all good. Let's try and just wing a mortar over there. Hmm? How's that sound? There we go. We don't have uh, another command point to run somebody back there, but. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it should have been. Their sniper didn't even shoot, uh, didn't even turn to shoot uh, Alicia. This guy. I mean, okay, maybe a little bit more movement would have been. No, Alicia can see him. Anyway, point is, they had a, a move they could have made Come right there. Oh, well. I know that they're anti-tank mines and that they're safe for, like, the people to walk over, but I just, I would not feel comfortable that with that, you know? There we go. Operation complete. We took their base. Woot. C rank. Look at that. C. Ugh. Got the enemy ace bonus though, at least, I guess. And we got that that ace's sniper rifle. New episode, Bonds.
Lieutenant Gunther reporting for duty. We really missed you, boss. Lieutenant, that is. Isara, aren't you going to welcome your brother back home? You was worried about him, weren't you? Welcome back, Wilkes. I'm glad you're all right. Thanks. So am I. <laughs> Largo? And Rosie? Thank you for looking for my brother. I'm in your debt. <laughs> Having some dark hair thank me. Well, it's weird. Shut up, Rosie. Good to see him in one piece, though. You gotta admit that, right? Squad 7 was like your second family. It made me feel... I felt really happy. So... Thanks for that, Welkin. <laughs> Chapter 9 a midsummer incident. A midsummer incident. Interesting. New episode, personnel tab, new skirmish. I mean, you know, practically speaking, the best units, the most effective units are the ones that can kind of function like a family. I mean, if you just rule, you know, with, you know, your procedural hierarchy and everybody, you know, respect my rank. You're like, man, that is not, that is not a way to lead. <laughs> it will not go well for... Uh, for many of those leaders. It takes a very specific type of leader to actually succeed at that sort of thing. We are going to stop, uh, we're going to start, rather, at the War Cemetery. Here we go. Come on. Ghost Man, give me a, give me an order. Hello again, son. I'll teach you mortar support today. What? Use it to request a mortar strike centered around a specific area. Yeah. Well... What is your decision? Yes, absolutely yes. 10,000 EXP? Yeah, take it. Take it, take it, take it. Very good. I hope my orders can assist you in saving the nation. I hope we'll meet again. Should you wish, you can likely find me. Okay, good. Um, good, good, good. That was, that was a good one. Um, training. Let's go ahead and keep getting... Some groups upgraded here. Uh, Lancer is already up to eight. Engineers aren't too far behind. We'll go scout, shock trooper, engineer, sure. And, uh, you know, we'll probably just upgrade scout and shock trooper again. Yeah, that's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. Out of the scouts. Awesome. Scouts, shock troopers. Uh, I mean, if I've got enough to do them again, I will. Looks like this. this should be the new potential out of the shock troopers. All right, good. And we still got enough here. Take, uh, take, take shock troopers up to the next level. Sure, sure, we'll do it. Okay, all right, well, didn't, didn't get us anything interesting, but that's okay. All right, research. Yeah, lots of research here. Lots of points, anyway. Welkin, bro, I'm What's up, Leon? I can't see the name Leon anywhere, if you happen to be a viewer who's named Leon. Uh, Leon Kennedy, you're the, uh, you're the Resident Evil person for, you know, a lot of us. Um, okay, added effect... Defense down Or firepower boost or accuracy boost. I mean generally the way that I normally play is I pursue the accuracy boost But I'm gonna try going with added effect here 
And we're gonna we're gonna pursue that basically as as much as we can. I mean, it couldn't hurt to put an accuracy boost on some of these because you can assign the guns to different people. Um, so I could have Alicia with the firepower boost, for example, and then I could have everybody else use, you know, this defense down thing if I wanted to. But I am not interested in that right now. Um, added effect, attack power down. Yeah, we'll, do, we'll, we'll try this too. We'll, we'll just try and go added effects across the board as much as practical. We'll see what happens. Firepower boost there. Okay. Ooh, aim down. Interesting. Or a firepower boost or an accuracy boost. Frankly, what I need from my snipers is accuracy boosts. Worried about reduced aim or anything like that with my snipers. Whoops. There we go. And back to the beginning. How about for the tank? Okay, an enhanced machine gun with increased damage. Cool. It would be pretty great if this thing had like a turret mounted 50 that uh, that you could get some some infantry up, you know, get, get Alicia to start riding around on top of the tank manning the 50 while, you know, you just cruise through enemy lines. Um, expanded capacity. Those are usually a, a good idea. We've got the room for it. Sure, I'll put it in there. Why not? And then we still have, whoops, we still have some, we still have some uh, research points to go if we need them, so uh, should be okay. And I think, uh, I think we'll go ahead. Let me let me drop a save here. You can never can never have too many saves. Particularly when it doesn't tell you for sure that it did it. There we go. Okay. Um yeah, I think we're gonna leave it here. A midsummer incident. Um this this will this will be an interesting one to pick up with next time. Uh, I hope you're enjoying this. I do I do uh, very much enjoy Valkyria Chronicles. I'm having a lot of fun with it, even if I occasionally fail <laughs> some some of the same missions I've failed. You know, for what did this come out two two thousand eight, nearly fifteen years I've been failing these same missions. <laughs> so, you know, my my mindset and approach just is not the way to go with some of these so it is what it is uh either way i do hope you're enjoying it uh and uh, of course thanks for watching